What's up, everybody? Man, it's your boy, Mr. Duga. I'm coming at y'all with another video, man. <laughs> and today, man, I'm going to talk about a couple of other tournament games that took place. You had the uh, the number five ranked, number five seeded Auburn Tigers beating the number 12 seeded New Mexico State Aggies, 78 to 77. And you had the number six seeded Maryland Terrapins beating the number 11 seeded Belmont Bruins, 79 to 77. First off, man, with the Auburn New Mexico State game, what a crazy finish, bro. It appeared that Auburn was trying to do everything possible to lose this game and to give Charles Barkley and Bruce Pearl a heart attack, man. Like, they had a nice size lead. Then they star player commits a, a, a bad foul, fouls out the game. Then they just giving up threes, turning over the ball. Like, it was just absolutely crazy. Then at the end, they up by two points, and then they go, they foul a three-point shooter with 1.1 seconds left, man. I'm like, Auburn is really trying to lose this game, man. But luckily for them, the dude only made one of the three free throws, but then after that, the ball goes out of bounds on Auburn. Then on the inbounds play, they give the guy from New Mexico State a wide-open three-point attempt. But luckily for them, he rushed it, so he airballed the thing. And Auburn escapes with a 78 to 77 win, man. But nevertheless, man, good win for them. New Mexico State was a team coming in on a 19 game winning streak. So granted, you know, they don't play the level of competition that we play. But for them to uh to pull out a win against a, a team that's used to winning, man, that's a good job for Auburn, man. It looks like they're gonna take on Kansas in the second round. As it looks like they're pretty much running away with their game with Northeastern. Then the other game, man, you had the number six seeded Maryland Terrapins beating the number 11 seeded Belmont Bruins. Belmont had every opportunity to win this game, man, and they just could not make free throws down the stretch, man. <laughs> like, they got the key. Like, they just couldn't catch a break at the end, man. You know, they had a scenario where they got the the game is tied and they're one of their key free throw shooters goes to the line and misses both free throws. Then there's a loose ball with the, I think there was down one or something like that. It's a loose ball. It bounces around, and Maryland gets it and throws it to their big guy who goes up there, Shaq S, and just absolutely dunks that thing on this guy from Belmont, man. And I'm looking at that like, big fella, what's your frustration in my ha-ha Davis voice, man? <laughs> wow. You know? But even with that, man, Belmont comes down, hits a three, cuts the lead to one. Then after that, man, Maryland goes down, doesn't score. Belmont gets the ball down one with like 12 seconds left. I feel like in that situation, man, you got to go quick. I feel like you shouldn't wait till like three seconds left to try to make something happen because you got to prepare yourself, okay, what if we don't score? You know, then we could play the foul game. We could foul and get the ball back to possibly still win it or at least send it to overtime. Or if you score right there, it's like, hey, Get a stop. You know what I'm saying? Make one stop, yo. But in their case, man, they waited till the end. Then they tried a very, very difficult pass that got deflected. Maryland went to the line, hit the first free throw, missed the second one. They had a shot. Belmont had a shot at a half-court heave, but obviously they didn't get it. And Maryland gets the win, man. Maryland is a very uh, – I didn't know they was that young of a team, man. I thought, like, LSU was one of the younger teams out there. But Maryland is, like, the fourth youngest team in the country. And they're big. That's a big team. They got some big boys down there, man. I mean, this guy with the goggles, man, out there looking like an old Horace uh, Grant. Just He out there just slamming that thing, man. They got a nice little, little young steady point guard, man. And uh, I'm looking forward to the LSU-Maryland matchup in the second round, man. Um, You know, two young uh, two young teams, man, with, with very big verse, with verse. Well, LSU big men are a little more versatile. As far as, but Belmont, I mean, uh, Maryland's big men are a little more traditional, but they could really bang down. They got two big dudes that look like they could be defensive ends in the NFL, man. So um, shout out to Maryland for getting the win, man. Um, Very nice, good, competitive game. You know, um, looking forward to the matchup, man, the LSU-Maryland matchup, man, Um, on Saturday. I'll probably have a preview, preview video for that game tomorrow as I get to you know, dig in and learn a little more about Maryland uh, over the rest of the evening, man. But um, but with that being said, man, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. 
Go and give me a subscribe, man. I'm going to have LSU and NCAA content throughout the season. Y'all have a blessed one. Go Tigers.